swine flu, also called H1N1, is a different strain of virus than the seasonal flu and doesn't come from pigs. To protect yourself and others against swine flu, you need to know how swine flu is transmitted. Contrary to popular belief, swine flu cannot be transmitted by eating pork. The virus is carried in airborne droplets, and therefore the following activities can transmit the droplets. 1. Sharing drinks. 2. Sneezing and coughing. 3. Kissing. While everyone is at risk for H1N1, the following groups are at greater risk for complications. College-age students, pregnant women, young children, and people with chronic illnesses such as asthma, diabetes, and HIV-AIDS, just to name a few. Signs and symptoms of H1N1 include sneezing, coughing, fever of over 101 degrees Fahrenheit, fatigue, chills, nausea and vomiting, and sore throat. If you do get sick, stay at home, avoid contact with people, and wear a mask if you do leave home. Go to the ER if you feel short of breath, confused, sudden dizziness, pain or pressure on the chest, or persistent vomiting. When coughing or sneezing, do not cough or sneeze into your hands. This is how to cover your cough or sneeze. It is important to use your elbows instead of your hands because your hands can spread germs more easily. When hand washing is not feasible, you may use a hand sanitizer instead. You can use a hand sanitizer up to five times in a row before hand washing is needed. When hand washing, use lukewarm water, wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, then rinse thoroughly before grabbing a paper towel to dry off and turn off the faucet. <laughs>